Welcome, I just finished embroidering 50 shirts for a local small business. And so I'm just going to take you behind the scenes of my machine embroidery. So let me actually just freeze this. I'm going to back up the video and we'll start from the beginning. Peach Creek Chiropractic is going to be a presenter at an event. So she contacted me to make all these t-shirts for her and sent me over the image and we got it digitized and I gladly accepted. She decided to go with these black t-shirts and I think they pop. And I'm just excited for her because I think they're gonna be like a great impact. These shirts are gonna stand out at her event. So I'm very excited for her. Now I am just putting this bobbin in here. I use these magnetic bobbins, so I'll show you. It's magnet on this side, and then you just stick it in here, and then it's nice because you are always know what side to put the bobbin in on. I'm going to put it in here, and it goes like that. And right now I'm just working on some business uh, this small business here in Utah is asking for some embroidery shirts for their chiropractic business so that's what I'm doing right now so I'll go in detail on uh, my embroidery job for this one so if you need embroidery work done and you're a local business to Utah I can definitely get you set up I need 20 mediums, 20 smalls, 10 larges, and then a few of the extra larges and the 2X. These are Gildan t-shirts and I'm just getting them out of the box. What I'm doing is turning all of the t-shirts inside out so that I can put the stabilizer in them. For the stabilizer, I use a cutaway stabilizer that I iron directly onto the back of the t-shirt. Now, my favorite is the Floriana stabilizer for knit, and that's one that I iron on directly onto the shirt. When I hoop the shirt, I use a tearaway stabilizer, and this is just, I think it's called bra thread, and I get this one on Amazon. I have so many shirts that I need to turn inside out that I decided I need to bring some professionals in. So here they are. Also remember to hit the like and subscribe button if you are enjoying this video. Thank you. I have grown quite fond to this Brother multi-needle machine. When I first got it, I was kind of intimidated, but we're getting along very well.
And I'm at the final step, which is cutting any tiny thread strays, ironing and removing any pieces of lint, and then folding them, and just kind of sit back and admire the shirt. Although there was not a lot of time to admire them, I told her that I would have them completed in one week, which was crazy, but I did it considering it was also the 4th of July weekend, my daughter's birthday. Um, also, I'm working another job, but I did manage to get it done in time. Okay, so I have 50 shirts here that I finished up and I've just been... No! Okay, and so I... Sorry guys, this is like a package deal. If you get me, then you get her too. So out of the 50 shirts that I stitched together, I only ruined two of them. So I will show you this one. Something happened like with the tension on it. And then with this one, um, I actually got the blue. So when I programmed my multi-needle machine, it I did it wrong right there. So it went blue, but all is good. I have 50 shirts here now. So I have 20 small, 20 mediums, 10 larges three extra larges and two of the two extra it's larges. A it's a limo. Then we have a limo. Okay, and so that is all that I have for you. I hope that you guys enjoyed my channel. Please don't mind my assistant. She just loves these videos and she loves life as well. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.